Today Food is created with our sponsor, Smucker's Fruit and Honey, naturally sweetened with honey. Sounds good to me. This morning on Today Food, no baked desserts. Again, sounds good to me. The last thing you want to do uh, in the summer sometimes is to turn on the oven in the house. Exactly. Yeah. So we brought in today tastemaker Alejandra Ramos to show us three of her favorite no-bake sweet treats. Hello. Good morning, let's Alejandra. Give them yeah, we like a no-bake situation. I like no-bake. It's what's way too hot one? for the oven. So we are making some triple berry no-bake cheesecakes. And what's in How those? How cute are these? So we've got some of this, our triple berry fruit and honey. We've got some cream cheese, vanilla Greek yogurt, these cute little tart shells. You get in the baking aisle right and some fresh berries and mint to dress it up i love mint mint simple yes. enough simple enough so we've okay. got some cream cheese here soften it up a little bit leave it at room temperature that like makes it really nice and creamy and i whoops that is oh, not oh, how no. you do it oh, no, that's <laughs> this looks like me. something i would do <laughs> yeah me too should i just do it like this there we go well that works too so you okay. just get yourself a jenna in the kitchen to help you and then you add your vanilla yogurt cool and i'm using some uh, vanilla greek yogurt but if you have a berry yogurt that works too mm. or plain whatever and then this is our triple berry fruit and honey so all the flavors in here. It's just a little bit of honey, fresh berries. I'll be the awesome. taste tester. Yeah. So good. So you mix that all up. Okay. And then we have it over here finished. And then you just fill up these little tart shells. Oh, this so is so like, simple. Is it great? Amazing. Isn't that cute? Do you love a cheesecake? Mm. Love a cheesecake. Dress okay. it up. Okay. Put a little. Little minute. You and do you have to put these in the fridge? I need and to then, well, this. you can serve them right away, but yeah, you can also put them in the fridge. You can make them in advance. What about freezer? Would, then, would they be like frozen Ooh, cheesecake? Mm. That's a good idea. And we're doing that. Sometimes, it's a good idea, and sometimes it's not. No, you know? I like it. I okay. like it. That's what's next. All right, so now we are making some no bake cookies. Okay. These are so cute. They're little cookie balls. So it's basically like cookie dough, but without the eggs. We've got some of our, we're using strawberry yeah. and honey, a little bit of vegetable oil, some honey, some slivered almonds, oats, and mini chocolate chips. Okay. So to start, we get our oats and our slivered almonds right in the food processor. A little bit of salt in there, too. And you just kind of blitz it up quickly mm -hmm. just to kind of get it finely ground. And then you can add your honey, your vanilla extract. Vanilla. This is not bad as far as, as, no. far as on the health factor. This isn't bad. Yeah, this is, I feel like this is a good breakfast yeah, cookie. Bad. I'm, gonna, a good I'm breakfast declaring cookie. it a breakfast cookie. You Why not, breakfast right? And cookie together. I mean, Why you've not? got oats, you've got fruit, people. you've got honey. So you Do you just, put these oats yeah, in there? You put the, yeah, so that's if, it's, if the mixture's a little bit too wet, because sometimes it can depend. You can add a little bit extra. Should and we try this or yeah, we worry about it? Yeah, let's try it. We'll see. I don't want to break another machine here, so. Okay. I, already, I already did one. Not working, but you okay. You power today. I don't know. So then you just scoop them out. Then we scoop them out, and you can use a little vegetable oil on your mm -hmm. hands to roll them oh, into little balls. No, that's okay. cool. We can do this. We can do this. We got this. Cool. I'm going to see you started it for me. Oh, then you'll roll into little balls nice. like that. So cute, right? We have like a minute left. So these are right. baked. You just all right. eat them? All right. Let's well, go this to is, the grilled stuff. This is, this is like my it? favorite. <laughs> so we've got a dessert peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Okay. We've got pound cake, some peanut butter frosting, and some of our Conquer grapefruit and honey. I just started slicing. I'm go not sure it. why. Yeah, but... No, that's perfect. That's okay. perfect. Yeah, so then you brush the uh, grill pan with a little bit of butter. Okay. And then you put your slices right on there. It gives them a nice grill that like, caramelizes it. It makes it nice and toasty. And you can toasty. buy this pound cake, right? Just yeah, for, totally. For it you up. can buy it, do homemade, whatever you want. All right. Put a little bit of the jam and the peanut, or the uh, the spread here and some peanut butter frosting. Okay. What and is the spread? The spread is, this one's Concord grape. So it's oh. like the classic, right? Oh. And then you just dust it with a little bit of powdered sugar cool. on top. Oh, man. Oh, oh, this, this is amazing. So much. <laughs> Check out the recipes at today.com slash food. Back Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.